Hey y'all, welcome back for another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. If you're a whitetail deer, I'd hate to be you because we've got normal whitetail or 150 grain load in 300 Winchester Magnum. And here's your box for that normal whitetail 150 grain 300 wind mag load. We've got icons for deer, bear, elk, and wild hog. Flipping it around to the back. Here is your promo info for the normal whitetail line. Feel free to stop, pause, and read all that if you would like. Here I'll bring it up right here so you can take a look at that. And then up here, you've got some more info. Feel free to read that if you would like to. Coming on over to the ballistics chart, we've got our muzzle velocity stated at 3,248 feet per second. So this stuff is screaming. We'll see if that bullet holds together. And let's go ahead and pull some out. Well, if I can figure out which way to do it and take a look at it. Norma ammo, and I say this every time, I'm a bit of a broken record at this point, but Norma ammo comes in these really neat little polymer ammo holders. You can crack it in half just like that. And I say this every time I do Norma ammo. And you got two little five rounders you can throw in your pack or your pocket, really handy. Let's go ahead and take a look. You push down here and then push up and it comes right out. And the Norma ammo, if my camera will focus, I swear, there we go. The Norma ammo across all of their lines just always looks so clean. We've got a little gnat there on the tip of the bullet. The brass is just beautiful. Let's go shoot it and see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Ruger M77 Hawkeye Hunter, chambered in 300 Winchester Magnum, of course. It's got a 24-inch barrel, and we are taking advantage of that threaded muzzle. And up top, we've got a Leopold VX3 HD scope. And coming on back, I've got to show you one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. Check out my website, masonleather.com, to get yourself one. I would love to make you one. And we've got 300 wins stamped right in to let everybody know the hammer is about to fall. And I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings. Check out my website for these as well. If you're looking for a leather sling that will last you a lifetime, you're going to want to check these out. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my Black Bear design. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are your velocities for that 150 grain normal whitetail load out of the 300 wind mag minimum 3,091 feet per second max 3,122 for an average of 3,111. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that normal whitetail 150 grain stuff out of the 300 Winchester Magnum. And we did capture all three bullets with a caveat that one of the bullets did separate jacket and core. And honestly, I'm surprised the others didn't as well with how fast these things are hitting. And they're just 150 grain lead and copper, you know, cup and core bullets. So I'm actually surprised the two that held together did. And as far as penetration goes, there's one right there at 19 and a half inches. There's another one right down there at, eh, it's kissing 21 and a half inches. And then the other one is in two pieces. See if I can point them out to you. The lead core is right down there in the base of the block all the way down. And then the jacket is, you can actually see it right down here. Sorry about the camera work, but there it is right down there. So we're going to split the difference for the penetration on this third one, I guess. So the jacket is at 28 inches and then the lead core is at... 21 so we'll split the difference what do we got seven so 24 and a half we'll call the penetration for that third bullet and you can make it that what you will if you want to use a different number go for it that's what i'm going to use and then coming on over to the first block wound cavities they open up at about if my camera will freaking focus about the one and a half inch mark they're opening up and then they close off at about the nine and a half inch mark so definitely not the most devastating wound cavities i've seen but we are just getting started with 300 wind mags so we'll see where it goes from here 
Here we go. From this angle, you can see the three separate wound tracks, and they kind of meld together. That's not one wound track. That's three stacked on top of each other. So it's really not, you know, particularly devastating. But those bullets did flatten out quite a bit and dump some energy. Let's dig them out and see what they look like. All right, y'all, we shot it. Let's talk about it. The normal whitetail 150 grain load out of the 300 wind mag weight retention. We saw 100 grains, 104 grains, and 106 grains for an average of 103 grains retained weight. That works out to 69% weight retention. And y'all, I'm surprised it's that much. This is not a particularly heavily constructed bullet. Coming out of a 300 Win Mag, it's one of the lighter for caliber bullets for 300 Win Mag. Typically, you see the 150 to 180 up to 200 grains in factory loads. This is on the lighter end of that. So for these to have held together as well as they did, honestly, I'm surprised and pleased. And I wouldn't expect much more out of them. On to expansion, we saw 0 0.66, 0 0.68, and 0.74 inches for an average of 0.69 inches expanded diameter, and that's 2.3x expansion. And just take a look at the photo of these bullets. It's nice and even all the way around the circumference. These are really nicely expanded. These things are winners in my book so far. I'm surprised they're doing as good as they are. Velocity wise, we saw 3122 for the high, 3092 for the low for an average of 3111 versus the factory build velocity of 3248 feet per second. So we did come in 137 feet per second slow. Now that's sort of par for the course for factory ammo. It typically doesn't come in at box spec, but I've got some loads that do out of 300 wind mag out of this same rifle. And our estimated velocity down there at impact at 100 yards is about 2,909 feet per second. Penetration wise, we saw 19 and a half, 21 and a half, and 24 and a half inches for an average of about 22 inches of penetration. And that's right there for what I want to see for your white tailed deer hunting type ammo, 20 inches to 20 inches plus. This is right there. And it's going to deliver a punch when it gets there. Kinetic energy wise, with a 150 grain bullet going on average 3,111 feet per second, this stuff is, is booking it, even though it's slower than box spec, it's still booking it. Gives us 3,223 foot pounds at the muzzle and about 2,818 foot pounds down there at 100 yards. So this stuff is hitting at 100 yards what a hot 30 odd six feels like at, at the muzzle. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks y'all. All right y'all, it's time for my final thoughts on this Norma Whitetail 150 grain load out of the 300 Win Mag. And honestly, I think it did what it's supposed to. It's a budget hunting ammo and for the you know light, relatively light construction of the bullet and the power of the 300 Winchester Magnum cartridge, I'm surprised how well these things did. 69% weight retention, really good expansion. I can't really ask for much more than this. Penetration is right there in that perfect range for what I want to see for white-tailed deer. It's going deep enough to most likely give you an exit wound on most shots, but it's dumping energy up front to deliver a good punch. It's a good balance. And at the end of the day, what this stuff is, is it's a budget deer hunting ammo. So if you've used this ammo on game, let me and everyone else know in the comments how it did for you. And check out my website, masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options including name, initial, and caliber stamping as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser and click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.